Hello and welcome to my quick review of the Brawler's Blood Necklace. Now, this item is a... Well, first of all, it's made from a Dungeoneering Necklace, the Brawler's Knockout, I believe it is called. Um, and you attach a item that is worth around 11 million, that's what I bought it for yesterday. Um, you attach that to the Brawler's Hook or whatever. Uh, whatever it's called, it has a few different names on which tiers it is. And basically... It becomes this, the Brawler's Blood Necklace. Now, it gives a strength bonus of 44, no prayer bonus, which kind of sucks. Um, and it is charged fully with Blood Runes. Now, what does it, what do the charges do? Well, you can probably tell from the name that it's a Blood Necklace. Um, this was released the other day with Elf City Batch 2. You can get the Blood Necklace attachment shard thing from Edamu, um, which requires 115 dunge and a... A task from Kuradal or Morvan, and basically, sorry about that. Basically, uh, the necklace will attack one of your something that attacks you every three hits that they do to you, and it'll do up to 700 damage, I believe, or it do it'll do up to 700 damage to a bunch of things and will heal you for that amount. Now, what this means is that it's particularly useful bandos because you've got a few things attacking you all at once and you are losing HP quite often because bandos hits quite hard. Now, what that means is that you are going to gain your HP back because of the Brawler's Necklace instead of having to, say, eat a food or use an ability that restores your life points, like say rejuvenate or regenerate. Basically, this is a tool that allows you to stay longer at Bandos, uh, food wise. So if you have, say, worse gear than this, basically, this is my gear, and I usually do pretty well. I can stay here for a while. Uh, basically, if you have, say, Torva or Bandos, this item would be extremely useful for you. Now, it is 10 million right now. I am going to assume that it will drop. Uh, to lower than say 5 million because that's with most slayer drops although it, it has quite a wide requirement of 115 dungeoneering but as with most slayer drops they do not stay expensive for a while now I've only actually tried this at Bandos for this trip I'm gonna oh yeah and also something that also came along with this update uh, of Vastity Bash 2 is the combination potions I, from, I myself have Holy Overload Potions. These are a combination of prayer renewals and overloads all in one. Basically, it just allows me to save inventory spaces, which is fairly useful bandos, if I'm honest. And basically, I can camp bandos for a very long time on high health all the time and not really worry too much about anything, really. Um, I can use Flurry like this, heal up a bit, and then um, Brothers Necklace will heal me. Basically, I don't lose too much health. I didn't on that kill because Bandos went full retard and hit me quite a lot. That is fine. Just sort of pick up some food. And eat those. This boss has a lot of food drops, like chili potatoes, and even kebabs. They're actually pretty useful. You may see some kebabs on the floor sometimes and think, well, that's kind of useless. Why would I pick those up? If you try them, they have a they have triple question mark as their healing, but that's because they have a random healing, so they can't really be they can't really be put into the thing. And basically, they heal up quite a bit and will help you out. Basically, Rolls Blood Necklace is good. I I say go for it before it inevitably will be nerfed because of how Jagex is and how. They tend to release good things and then nerf them later on after we pay for them. Either way, it was only to all, it's only, it was only 11 million for me, which honestly is not that much, and I am quite happy that I paid that for it. I am considering that considering that it will help me get my 120 attack, which is my main goal right now. I'll show you my progress: 59 million, basically, out of 104. Basically, it'll help me out quite a bit on that, and hopefully, I should have it one day now any day, and I'll uh, see you next time.